What's going on guys? Welcome back to another repaint video. In the video today, we're going to be repainting the Mattel Triceratops from the Roar line. Now I decided to go with a Jurassic Park uh, theme on this one. So we're going to kind of do it to look like the sick Triceratops. So we're going to do a brown Triceratops. And for that, I'm going to be trying out a new paint set by Vallejo. And this is the Rust and Chipping Effects paint set. Now, don't let the rust and chipping fool you. Uh, if you put this on your dinosaur, it will not rust or chip off. Uh, the uh, rust colors are really just what I'm after here. These really awesome browns and oranges and yellows. Um, this set does come with a bottle of uh, chipping solution that you can mix with your paint that allows it to chip off when it's on tanks and stuff like that, just to make it look like they're weathered and damaged. But uh, you don't need to use that on your dinosaur. But um, this does come with some really great paints. I'm going to be using a couple out of this set, but this will work great for other dinosaurs as well. Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptors, stuff like that. Um, so I definitely recommend grabbing this one. It's at Hobby Lobby for $24.99. Use a 40% off coupon. Get it for like 14 or 15 bucks. It's a great paint set to have on hand, as well as the other paint set that I had uh, that I used for the Stegosaurus video. Some of the other paints that I'm going to be using, obviously, uh, are white. We're going to be priming the Triceratops in white. I'll have some Testers Tan on hand. I've got some Sapia by Golden uh, Airbrush Paint. I also have some Sapio ink for washes. Createx Brown, this is the transparent brown. I'll have a couple of these acrylic paints on hand. Uh, this is the khaki for the horns. Uh, and I have the uh, coffee latte for just finer details. For the eyeball, we're gonna be using some semi-gloss pumpkin, gloss black, gloss white, and hard as nails uh, gloss coat for the eyeball just to make it look wet and real. I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys enjoy the video and I will see you at the end. So I'm starting off priming the model in white. All right, now I'm going to add some testers tan. All right, so now I'm taking three different skin tones and I'm building up some uh, skin layer on the uh, Triceratops. And I'm starting with dark flesh first and I'm gonna move up to light mocha and then finish it off with a light dry brushing of the medium flesh tone just to give the uh, skin a little dimension and uh, break up some of the patterns a little bit. The next layer we're going to do is United States Air Force Brown. We're going to do a light coat over the top part, the legs, and the face frill, uh, pretty much the entire body. Uh, just a nice light coat, blending it down into the skin color. Now I'm taking some of uh, this sapia paint and I'm gonna go around the eyes and darken those up. All right, so now I'm going over the Triceratops with the transparent Createx Brown. I've already done this side and I'm just gonna uh, continue it over here on this side. Okay, now I'm taking some sapia and I'm just applying it to the base of the horn and fading up just to give it that uh, general effect. I'm just taking a little bit of wash and washing it over the horns just to pick out those little cracks in there. Starting at the base, just kind of run it up. Now I'm just taking a watered down tan solution, almost a uh, wash like consistency. And I'm just kind of randomly going in between a few of these larger pebbles, and just kind of letting it wash in between them. 
and I'm going to do this with several different colors and different parts of the skin just to kind of have some color variation. So I'm just letting it wash in between the pebbles kind of wherever it wants to go I'm trying to be random and then I just kind of wipe it away from the top part. Use a different a few different color browns kind of helps break it up a little bit gives it some kind of gives it some character. It's a minor detail but it does make it look really cool especially uh, in person. This is light rust that I'm using, so I've gone up a little bit brighter, getting to some of these little darker areas. I try and use the darker browns on the lighter ones, and then the brighter browns on the little darker spots over here. For the toe claws, I'm using neutral gray, and I'll wash over them with the sapia shade wash. Alright, so the last step will be sealing the paint job, and fortunately this paint set comes with a little bottle of matte varnish that can be applied either with a brush or with an airbrush. And uh, that's what I'm going to do here, we're going to seal it in the matte varnish to protect the paint and all the little joint areas and stuff like that from uh, scratching off, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the pot and we'll apply it. All right, she is all protected and ready to roll.